This is a Zicky screencast showing how you can interact with the web browser to make user interfaces. First, I'm going to demo an existing menu that lets you make faces, kind of like when you're making a character on the Wii. And then I'm going to show you how it was implemented and then back up and we'll create a similar menu that's really simplified from scratch. The way you use menus in Ziki is you type the name and double click or type control enter or command enter. And then you can click the pluses uh, to expand and collapse and then click pluses uh, to make things happen just like any other uh, graphical menu. And you can also double click a quick side note, in Ziki, menus and everything else are editable text. So at any point, the user can uh, delete menus that they don't care about at the moment. They can um, add items that aren't there. Let's make some red eyes. And uh, you can rearrange menus. You can add notes and everything still works. Creating a menu like this is very simple. There are multiple ways of doing it. You can pick your favorite way. To create the menu itself, all you need to do is make a text file in the menus directory, which is in your home directory. Give it the name of the menu that you're creating. And then uh, inside the text file, you just put the fully expanded menu. This is just showing you the contents of this file. I can double click to actually go into the file. It's just a text file. You can use any text editor to create it and stick it in the menus directory. Now that we have our menu in place, we can make a Ruby file with the same name and it will be called to make the menu items do things. With this example, all the Ruby file is doing when you click on the menu items is make the browser draw this face. Let's look at the source. We can see that it's pretty simple what's happening. It's just making a bunch of images with position absolute so they're on top of each other. Let's see what this file looks like. The details aren't really important. It's a face class with a method named menu and this method gets called whenever users click on menus and the .menu file can't handle it. And the menu names get passed in uh, as strings, uh, as arguments to the method. The important thing is it's building up some HTML and then telling the browser to render it. You can also use other languages besides Ruby, but that'll be uh, another screencast. Man, that guy's really creeping me out. There, that helped. Right, let's make another menu that's similar, but is really uh, simplified. We'll call it mood, and we'll give it two items. And when you click on the happy item, it'll make the browser show a smiley face. This will be really easy to do because the line to make the browser show the faces is gonna look just like this. We can double click on it because in Ziki, you can double click code to make it run. Let's go blow up the font size a bit. So how do we create this menu? We saw that one way of doing it is to make a text file in the menus directory in your home directory uh, with the name of the menu you're making and a .menu extension. And to make the menu items do things, you can make a RB file with the same name. And inside of this file, we would put the two menu options and inside the Ruby file, we would just have some code with a method that uh, will be called when you click on these items. And uh, the name of the, the menu item would be passed in as a parameter. And then we can just check it and say if it's happy, draw a smiley face in the browser, otherwise draw a frowny face. We could create these two files manually if we wanted to and the menu would be there and would work. But instead, let's use an even easier way to create menus. Let's take advantage of Ziki's pretend like it works 
philosophy that is borrowed from how wikis work. Let's pretend like the menu is there and see what happens. Maybe the menu is there. Maybe we created it last uh, month and we forgot about it. So let's type the menu name, double click on it, and see if it helps to guide us to do what we want. It's telling us there is no menu yet. And to create it, we can uh, choose one of these options. So let's pick the first one, create the class here. Then it's telling us to create the menu. We can just type a few options right here. And then we can type a keyboard shortcut to save it. So we know what our uh, options are gonna be. Happy for the happy face, sad for the frowny face. So let's just type those, type the keyboard shortcut it told us. And uh, now the menu is there. And if we go look at the menu directory, we can see that it created the menu for us. Let's use the pretend like it works idea to make the menu items do something. Uh, let's just double click on the menu items, see what it tells us. It's telling us the item doesn't do anything yet. We can uh, update our menu file or we could create a class. So let's click on that. It's making a default class for us. It's telling us the keyboard shortcut to type to save it. So let's save it by typing what it told us to and then run it again and see what happens. Uh, now it's telling us that uh, it got this argument and that we could customize it. Let's go into this class and see what it's doing. It's just printing out a string. Let's change this argument to face and let's make some code that just tests it out. If I save that file and then run this again, let's see what happens. It drew the face if that worked. Now let's make it draw the right face based on this parameter. So if face equals happy, we want it to draw smiley, otherwise a frowny, else. Now if we save it, run it again, see if it works. Looks good. Having a .menu file and a Ruby file is one kind of simple way of making a menu. You could also have just a menu file and you can have just a Ruby file. If you have just a menu file, you're probably wondering how do you get things to happen? Well, as we saw, you can double click on code in uh, Ziki uh, to run it. So you can put the code directly under the menu. You can also delegate to other menus using the at sign. So if I save this menu and then expand it again, I can use the menus and then do things like that. There are a couple ways of making menus with just uh, RB files. The simplest way is you just make a class that's got a couple methods. When you double click on the menu name, it will just show you the, the two methods and you can click on those to use them. If you uh, try to run this, it'll error out because the favorite method uh, doesn't have arguments, but you could easily add arguments and do things with them. You can also have a very simple block that runs when you click on a menu. Let's evaluate this and see what happens when we click on the menu items. Or you can define a block of code that runs when a line matches a regular expression. Let's evaluate that and click on this. In Ziki, menus can also have headings and just normal notes. You just type a, a greater than to make a heading. And when you, when you update this and save it, it does the same thing. It just saves it in a .menu file. So you can put hints and documentation right into the menus. Or if you want, you could just use uh, menus as a way to make notes. You can also put shell commands in menus. The at means delegate to another menu. The dollar sign means a shell command. That's the end of this screencast. Ziki is like a shell terminal, but better because you can use it to run shell commands and make menus like we just saw. Check out uh, the homepage at ziki.org and uh, join the mailing list or follow us on Twitter.